Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean Autotopia LA. A long time coming, my buddy Miguel, you have your snake channel. Yes, uh, which is uh, always evolving pythons. All my social media is always evolving pythons. Yeah. So this one, not only a classic, but this car has a lot of important personal history to, yes. to both of us, really. Yes, I mean, a lot of history. And this actually came before I even, my business even took off. This was something that, you know, back then when I knew Sean, I mean, Sean and I go way, way back. I mean, I yeah. consider you more like a family friend, you know? Totally. So the, the big crash that happened a little over seven years ago that took Paul Walker and Roger Rodas' life, like Roger was your best friend in the world. Dude, yeah. I mean, I started meeting them at the gym. At the time I was a personal trainer and right. uh, I mean, I would see him every morning at 5.30 a.m., five days out of the week, and we became really good friends. And then he started taking me travel with him with the race team and everything. And, right. you know, right. he mentored me through my times so I was just a personal trainer team. Right. He would always say, get my head out of my butt, do, <laughs> do bigger and do stuff. And yeah, he actually became my, uh, my best friend. And I actually have a tattoo of him right there, you know, it says rest in peace, this is race 52, number, yeah. you know, Roger Rodas. But yeah, he was That's a big cool. impact in, the, in my life, you know, in yeah. a lot of people's life. So this was Roger's car. As yeah. a matter of fact, I have a picture, we'll, we'll add it in the video, you guys. It's, it's a, you know, unfortunately, the last yeah. day of Roger's life when he showed up to the, to the toy drive that morning at the yep. Always Evolving shop. Pulled up in this. He drove up one. in this, which by the way, you guys, it's a 64 Impala. Yeah. When he got this, I remember, you remember, he actually had got a, uh, another 64 Impala, the black one convertible, right? Right. So he would always, you know, we would always make those jokes. You know, both of, both of us being Hispanic, we're like, oh man, we're gonna put those 13 inch Dayton's on it. Right, Put that right. sound system. <laughs> and he would always tell me, yeah, when I get both of them ready to go, we're gonna go, you know, down Pacific Coast Highway and do all these cool stuff. And right. I myself have always wanted a 64 Impala when I was, you know, when I was yeah. younger, I just never thought I'd be able to afford one. This was my favorite car of his whole collection that he had. Yeah. And then, you know, obviously after the accident happened, you know, Christine, which is his wife, you know, offered it to me and yeah. I was just like, I did anything I could just to get it. And yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah. You know? And it, I definitely got a lot of upgrades on this thing. I mean, yeah. it pretty much got ripped apart and, you know, got all a lot of modern stuff into this battery. Totally. You know, in the day and age we live in, most people with some form of Chevy GM car typically go with an LS engine. Yeah, exactly. I like that this didn't go LS, that this stayed old school with this 430 engine. What is it, ZZ, right? Yeah, yeah. 430 ZZ. ZZ 430. Yeah. And I know it's not big power, but this is also a cruiser. This car doesn't need... No, it gives me more than enough power, man. Yeah. And all you the know, suspension work here is where it's like, where it's really has made a huge difference on it. Man. Yeah, which it's all on air ride, right? Yeah. It's, it's uh, pretty much, what's the, what's the AccuRite, the self-leveling kit, you know, just turn it on, goes to a ride height. Yep. You know, I can still play with it. It's all been done. I mean, I know it's upgrade control arms on here. If I remember correctly, it's a turbo 700 transmission, right? Yes. Isn't it the 700R yep. transmission? So you've got the overdrive yeah. here. And this paint, and this is the paint that was on the car when when, yeah. uh, when you got it from Roger, right? Yep. Isn't it? Exactly. You've never same had to paint, deal everything. with paint. No, nothing at all. So I know other things you've done to it. You, you did the upgrade brakes to Willwoods. Yeah. You changed the wheels and tires from yep. what they were before, right? Bill specialty, that's right. Right. And then uh, we ripped out the carpet. We did the gauges. I mean, I mean, like I said, it just got completely ripped apart. And the apart. gauge cluster in here is bitching. We'll, oh we'll show gosh, you guys yeah, it amazing. lit up because it's really cool. And then there's options like you can change colors. Yeah, and all from kinds orange of stuff. to teal, which, you know, the whole always evolving thing teals the color. You right, know? right. That's why one of the cars that I get the most, you know, like thumbs up or, you know, a totally. lot of like I take pictures on. It's actually been to a lot of, you know, a lot of people have used it for pictures and stuff. Yep. You know, it's definitely one. Uh, Definitely an eye grabber for sure. Yep. I'm kind of curious to see what the trunk looks like now. Oh man. That's all your air Yeah, my air compressor, right? everything that, you know, runs all that. And, you know, before this was just, I mean, dude, I could fit, oh my gosh, bodies on top bodies of yeah. before. Cause you know, like the 64 Impalas, man, they caved in so down. I mean, there was a lot of wasted, you know, space out here. Now it's like more cleaned up, tucked in and everything. Right. We have, you know, two, uh, tw with the 12 inch, uh, what's it, Frogs or Frost Gates? What, now what do you have in the back seat here? All right, well, you know, you know, myself being, you know, a snake guy. And so I deal with, you know, selling and breeding very rare, you know, pythons. So I was thinking what cool, you know, idea would it be to bring a snake that, uh, that matches this, uh, oh, no. this car, right? Oh no, oh no. I mean, look I'm at that. I'm not this. a snake guy, you guys. Look oh, at that. God. Now, uh, if you put it in the bottom already right here, we've had this this thing since it was a little baby. And this snake- Did you breed this snake? No, actually, you know, I was on the waiting list for this snake. Really? I don't breed these kinds of snakes. So these snakes right here are reticulated pythons. They're actually the biggest snakes in the world, the longest. So this thing right here has the you know capability of growing up to 15 to 20 feet and anywhere from 100 to 250 pounds. Oh my God. Yeah, but this thing is beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's almost, you know, it almost matches the car. 
Yeah, could you imagine this at 20 feet? I, I you know, I'm That's having a hard time cool, imagining right? it like right now. I'm, I'm, I'm not a snake guy, dude. But yeah, no, I mean, you know, it's one of my uh, favorite, you know, pets that we have over there at our house. And we have over 400 snakes at our facility. Crazy. Well, but yeah. Wait, why is he looking at me? Does he want to eat me? Oh, no, he probably just wants to hang out <laughs> with you. <man. laughs> is it okay to leave the snake in the back and go for oh, a no. drive? I'm going to take the snake out. Okay, okay, but, cool. Yeah. yeah, leave the snake yeah. here. I don't, want it, I don't want it crawling up on me, man. I, yeah. <laughs> you guys want to see Sean freak out. I like the sound too. I like that it's loud enough, you know, that it like it's not like a super quiet Impala, but it's not, it's far from obnoxious. It's funny too, I'm not a big airbag guy, you know, because I like I like performance cars and performance yeah. handling, you know, you, you want you want coilovers, but for a cruiser, and this is a cruiser, I'll, I'll take airbags all day. Yeah. And the car moves. The car does get up and go a little bit. I tell you, dude, I, I, I'm into like, you know me, I like the fast, crazy muscle cars. I would drive this thing all the time. It yeah. just, it drives really nice. I mean, you know, it's definitely a cool cruiser, man. Especially when I have the family on here, man. Dude, we just, you know, cruise on out to the beach. Oh, it's just gotta be nice. Where it really came together was when, you know, when Vintage got their hands on it, all the little things that were left untouched. Like, got to credit Lucas and yeah. uh, Needful Needful Things Needful Customs. Customs. Yeah, Needful Things Customs. Yeah, you know what, I would definitely, you know, like the whole air ride suspension on it, you know, he definitely put some love into it, did some amazing stuff, you know? Yeah. But um, definitely needed a, you know, a couple little extra things that, you know, I think Vintage Motors got it at the end and completely, you know, really put everything together. Well, yeah, like the transmission wasn't shifting properly. It no. needed, this transmission needed work. But now, you know, after leaving Vintage Motors, man, I mean, dude, it's, it's where I want it to be. Because of the history of this car, definitely one of my favorite Impalas out there. But here's a few more for you to enjoy as we say goodbye, thanks, and see you in the next episode. All right, you guys, later. Holy shit. <laughs>